Man, what a season it has already been so far. Uh, this, this, this Christmas season of all of them has felt the most hectic for us. We have a newborn baby. Um, our older kids are in sports and parties at school and trying to visit family and all those things. It can get hectic. It can get overwhelming. At the end of the day, my wife and I go to bed and we're like, man, I'm so tired. I have, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pass out. And it's like, yeah, we're tired because we're, we're, we're doing a lot. There's a lot going on in life. It's a good thing. Let's go to bed, get rest and reset. There's a new beginning tomorrow. We'll, go, we'll get back after it. Um, and this year, as I thought of, of the birth of Jesus of Christmas, that's, 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 that's the idea that keeps coming up to me is that this birth was a new beginning, that the Messiah is here. Um, I want to read with you Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 8. It says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah the Lord. Life is, is hard. It's hectic. There's a lot going on. I don't know what this season looks like for you, this holiday season. Sometimes it can be lonely and, and difficult and um, full of anxiety and worry. Um, I like this, this, this echo in this scripture. Don't be afraid that the Messiah is born. That the same way it was to these shepherds, that, that God wants that for you, this new beginning, that as the Messiah is born, the work on the cross is yet to be d done. The, the raising from the dead, defeating death has yet to be done, but it's started. The beginning has come. Like the Messiah is here. This new beginning has now been set forth. What they have been waiting for for so long was now about to be accessed. And for you and I in this season, I just see it as an, an exciting encouragement. Just as I go to bed, get refreshed in my sleep in this new beginning tomorrow morning, I think that's what Jesus wants for us in this, this remembering the Messiah's birth, that this, this new beginning, this new hope we have access to every day. So my prayer for you this season is that as you remember Jesus's birth and the work on Christmas, um, that it brings you a hope and excitement for the future.